go. Sweet. I'll make it first. Well, a switch in direction to Jupe, the Argentinians, but it's the bounce of the ball that's doing the foxing. And Hong Kong, China, right on Sweden. Oyana having a little dart down that short side. Good, sort of pilfering, snaffling on show from Brigido. He's very much the playmaker for Argentina, but showing a bit of dog there as well. Max here. Argentina really do you feel like a side that are finding their purpose, they're a team on the rise. They didn't even feature at the last Challenger series in 2023. But the game growth is extraordinary. The number of female participants has more than doubled in the last five years and and you look through the biographies of all these women, each and every one cites Los Pumas Sevens as their inspiration. The men taking the HSBC Sevens world by storm currently and find men to seek inspiration from. Off they go, that looks high and it's too high and it's too strong from Maria Brigido who pins her ears back, surges for the corner and she makes it to the line for a fabulous solo score. She saw that glimmer of space down the left flank and for a moment it looked like she was in the grip of Hong Kong China but she broke free and maintained her pace and another fast start from the Argentinians on the board first Sofia Gonzalez swings the left peg but doesn't add the extras <laughs> And Brigido with her second try of the day. Well, perfectly positioned, tight on the touchline, takes a bounce. It will be Hong Kong China throw. But a bit of territory and an opportunity for the Argentinians to apply a little bit of pressure. Smartly done by Hong Kong China. They have offside advantage and they've got a lot of power driving through those tackles. That's Natasha Olsen Thorn. And the lack of advantage sees Melody Leap go for a little poke around the centre of the Argentinian defence. Offside, number 10. Sofia Gonzalez, the guilty party in that offside decision, and a scrum called. Hong Kong, China, the scrum. Some more casual observers of sevens may be surprised at the number of set pieces, but it's increasingly becoming a flavour of the game, sucking in numbers to that set piece and creating even more space for the creators and the flyers. But you've got to win your ball first and Argentina have made it tough work for Hong Kong China, but they do well and they're across the 10. Numbers out there on the edge, but all wrapped up in the arms. A Yung Sin Yi, penalty given away. And off go Argentina, off goes Sofia Gonzalez. She finds Michaela Palero on her shoulder who releases the ball, gets back up and takes some more metres. This is smart stuff. Talia Roddick, a try scorer in the opening match, feeding the try scorer in this match. One more pass might just do it. Oh, the strength is there and the offload almost sublime. Oh, some lovely play. But it doesn't quite stick. And Hong Kong, China, breathe a sigh of relief. Andrea Moreno, booking her way through 
squeezing out the offload, but no try coming. Crouch! Vines! Set! A lot of power amongst those Argentinian three. What pressure can they put on Hong Kong China? A lot. Almost too much. That is incredibly well dealt with by Hong Kong China, who weave back inside. Outstanding from Olsen Thorne, who just won't be stopped. Eventually dragged to the floor. Argentina scrambling. Hong Kong China with numbers. Out to the edge. But the scramble really good from Argentina. The opportunity gone for the moment. And Hong Kong China. Certainly on the front foot, just looking for a way through. That's certainly not the avenue. And how about that? The commitment to find the energy to drive in with that counter ruck from Azul Medina and forcing that knock on those little extra bursts of energy can be all the difference in tight affairs like this one promises to be. Rigido goes hunting for space. She finds some friends. Oh, and the tackles aren't good enough. And off goes Paola Pedrozzo. Paola Pedrozzo gliding through the Hong Kong China defence. And it's another score for Pedrozzo and a second for Argentina in this key Pool C matchup. Hong Kong China will demand better of their defence, but it's the pace at which Maria Brigido brings the ball to the line and challenges those tackles, creates the space. And with a conversion added, it's half time here and Hong Kong China nil, Argentina 12. His charges are playing some beautiful sevens here in Dubai, leading 12 points to nil and putting great pressure on the kickoff that is outstandingly handled by Julia Oyana. <laughs> Hong Kong China persist with the tactic of launching their attack from the scrum. It's one that served them well previously, but with the power that exists in the Argentinian forward three, Nam Man may find herself under a little bit of pressure. And true to type from the first half, the powerful Argentinians blast Hong Kong China off the ball and wow, that's a good tackle on Sofia Gonzalez. No time to pause and savour it though because Argentina are really a team in a hurry, a team that wants to play with tempo, with Palero, with Pedroso. Gonzalez, Gonzalez on the arc, Gonzalez asking questions, pirouetting gloriously. And not a shred of defensive DNA from a Hong Kong China hand on her. Balletic from Sofia Gonzalez. And Argentina in full command of this one. Wow. A special moment from 
one of the most experienced women in these Argentinian ranks. She cites Charlotte Kaslick as one of the players she looks up to. Channeling a little bit of inner Aussie sevens there. 19-0. Hong Kong, China. They need something here. They've really been constricted in every department by the Argentinians so far. And that rush defence coming up in a crescent as well, not allowing them to get the ball beyond the first or second receiver really immediately greeted by a sky blue and white wall but that wall got moving prematurely well mishandled but not gone backwards yes gone backwards so a bit of composure required from Hong Kong China they've got enough time Three and a half minutes is an eon in a game of rugby sevens. Chong Kai Yan finding the pass, finding the angled run of Agnes Chan. Chong Kai Yan getting all wrapped up and then harried and Argentina are off Argentina are looking to the edge they go to the boot and they invite the pace out wide it sits up almost perfectly for Talia Rodic but not quite perfectly enough changes incoming with the Captain Jimena Matus, Maria Talajrid also coming on. Does Gonzalez get a break? She's worthy of one. There's great vision. <coughs> but just the troublesome bounce of the ball outfoxing. Talia Rodic, unable to add to the try that she scored against Poland. Five. Enjoying themselves. And right they should, leading 19-0. Hong Kong, China, their only resort is to kick the ball clear and hope for a bit of good fortune, which they get from the bounce. Nice recycle. Out wide they go. And here's the room they've been craving. Nice hands. Slick take. Chong Kai Yan forced inside. Burst through the two tackles. On one extra roll as well. Chong Kai Yan taps and goes and dances inside and then gets greeted with a pole axing tackle. Still, they don't roll again. Chong Kai Yan is single handedly dragging Hong Kong China to the line. Gabriella Rivers in there at half back. 21. Offside. Chong Kai Yan fully has abandoned Behind the, line. the set piece methodology. It's tap, it's go, it's find some tempo, it's find some space. There's none there in the middle, but still it's a few metres. Outstanding breakdown work though from the Argentinians. They look to be Marianella Escalante.
Touch up found by Sofia Gonzalez. Shankar Yan gets greeted by two white jerseys. And still the counter racking intensity comes flooding forward by the Argentinians. Oh, very standoffish. So explain you're in the bin. Offside. And it's a yellow card for offside against Myra Gengini. Oh, and that is a very unsavoury tackle. A second yellow card in 10 seconds. High and very unsightly. Hong Kong, China playing against five Argentinians. Rivers selling the dummy. And Argentina winning that breakdown penalty. Two less players, but still Maria Brigido, who started it all off with that try down the left edge. Bookends her performance with a big turnover. The game already won. And with the ball travelling across the touchline, Argentina have sent an even stronger message to this competition. Full time.